O oh, sons and daughters of Adam, listen closely. The time for my arrival is at its shortest. My system is in place. Despite your prophet's warnings, my armies are large and scattered, and my fragrance can be smelt from the east to the west. The next life is a delusion, a promise never fulfilled. I am your true Lord, and with me heaven will be on earth. No secret is hidden from me, and I have gained complete control over your life. I know of your parentage, birth, complete educational record, accounts of your illnesses, mental breakdowns, marriages, your income, loans, security, payments, taxes, pensions, your habits, interests, browsing and spending. I know your families, friends, colleagues and crushes. I know what you hide and what you show, all the way down to the disposition of your organs that can be surgically extracted just moments prior to your official death. In the end, no action, no conversation, no dream or thought will escape my all-seeing eye. Everybody has their plastic card. You all have your number. So is my religion not better than yours? I promise you wealth over poverty, freedom over rules, self-benefit over morals, promiscuity over chastity, fame over loneliness. I am your God, the grantor of your wishes. I have adopted your children and they have adopted my system, and those who have gone against my system are starving. It doesn't matter what you do, forgive yourself. You don't need to ask your God to forgive you. Have no regrets and eat from my wheat and my interest. Isn't it providing money for you? Does not my money honor you in society? Does not my money give you freedom? Do not depend on your God. Depend on me, your Lord. Accept me like the billions of others who have already accepted me, and I will help you get out of your suffering. I have come to strip away your religious beliefs and bring the new order, Novus Ordo Seclorum, the new secular world order. The tools of deception have obviously increased. You know, when the TV first came out, some said, that's the Dajah, your iPad, it is your phone. And then, no, you know, it was Facebook, and now it's Metaverse, and these are all Dajjal. And while there are certainly forms of Dajjala, certainly forms of deception that are enabled to these tools, there is the Dajjal. While certainly the conditions prior to him make his arrival ripe. The Prophet Sallallahu commanded a man to call out, come to the prayer. The Salah is coming, come all to the prayer. And all of the companions came. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, there was no Prophet before me except that it was an obligation for him to lead his Ummah to the best of what he knew for them and to warn them against the worst of what he knew was going to happen to them. And this ummah will be afflicted by trials and things you would deny them. Meaning if I told you about them, you wouldn't believe me. You would barely believe what I was going to say. The trials are going to be so severe. A fitna will come one after the other after the other. And this is happening in our time. So this is all preparation for the final coming of this Messiah of the Dajjal the imposter Christ. So the system is literally being formulated. And if you don't think it, then you are like the Prophet ﷺ until people are in complete heedlessness about who the Dajjal is. They go to the Dajjalic priest, like the psychiatrist and the social worker, and they say, no, 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 it's all right. It's okay to be homosexual. This is a lifestyle choice. Teenagers feel great sickness, these people that enter into a diseased relationship, and they feel guilt. Many of them commit suicide. What does the Dajjalic system tell them? 
They say, no, this is socialization. The, the man drinking alcohol because of a weakness in his moral character. If he goes there and he tells you, no, no, alcohol is a disease. You have a disease. You can't help yourself. Let's build your self-esteem. Feel good about yourself. It doesn't matter what you do, accept yourself. You have to learn to forgive yourself. This is the type of thing that they preach in this system. And he has to feel remorse because Nadama is a condition of Tawbah. If you don't feel remorse, you haven't made Tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so this whole idea of getting out remorse and purging it from your system, is that is a, an imposter tradition. It has nothing to do with spiritual teaching. But this is what the Dajjal and the Dajjalic system want to tell people. Now if you look at the demarcation of the world today, those people in this disease system, they eat from the Dajjal. But those who don't follow the system, they're not. They're suffering. They have poverty. They have hunger. They have all these things. And so what does the Shayateen? They will be sent with the Dajjal Shayateen that speak to the people. And they say, well, isn't this your Lord? Isn't this your God? Isn't He providing for you? You see, they want to take people's dependence away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make them depend on the wheat that they provide. You see, the mountains of wheat, if you just do what we say, if you enter into the five-year plan with the IMF and the World Bank, We'll give you wheat, we'll help you get out of your suffering. They don't want people to be independent of them and dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what this system which is preparing itself for this final manifestation of evil in the Dajjal is to make people completely dependent on it and free from Allah. This is what they want to do. So you have health insurance, you don't worry about things. You don't worry, you have health insurance. We'll take care of you. The ambulance will get here. Call 911. When the ruh reaches the hubal, what do you do? Call 911? This is what they want you to think, that they'll always be there to help you. And it's a lie. And you know what the truth is? Wallahi, you're only arrogant on the one that you know he can't do anything anyway. But as soon as someone comes in that's bigger than him, richer than him, more capable than him, like a cat, like a rat, he knows his spine, he goes and he runs straight into it. There's always going to be someone bigger. There's always going to be someone stronger. There's always going to be someone with more money. So relax and follow your prophet. Which side are you on? Which side are we on, my brothers? On the day of judgment, the name of the day of judgment is the day of regret. Because the truth is, many of us now we're living in Disneyland. He says on that day, the pregnant woman will lose her load. He says a child on that day, a child, the kid's got nothing to worry about. Fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on that day, his hair is going to go gray. Fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, your mother will run away from you. Your father will run away from you. Your mother, your wife, your children, your husband, every single person that you know will run away from you. Fact. Prophets are going to be scared on that day. We have been polluted. The Prophet said, Consider yourselves already dead people. In other words, wake up now. This is what Deen of Islam is to wake up. This is the Jal system of which the pyramid is coming near to their completion. World government, world federation, the United Nations in our lifetime we've seen entering into countries uh, and completely dissing the sovereignty of these countries. This is a world police. They're saying we're policing the world. And there's hadith in Tabarani about the armies of the Jajal wearing blue hats, blue helmets. The meanings become manifest and this is the nature, this is what we know. We know the reality, they don't know it. They're being deluded, they're sleeping. People are asleep and when they die they wake up. Those who deny the existence of a Dajjal in the name of no visual evidence, they're displaying the very weakness that makes them more likely to fall for his visual distortions. I can't see it, I don't believe it. They trust their vision so much that they're most likely to fall victim to their vision when the actual Dajjal rises. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from his fitna. Allahumma ameen.